gentlemen, <laughs> the occasional female that we get on the stream, I don't really know why, but hey. There we go. Think we're in a much better situation now. Hopefully. I should point out, by the way, that this is a new version of XSplit, so if something goes wrong today, that's why. They forced the mandatory update, so I had no real choice in the matter. Unfortunate. Just give people a couple of seconds to actually tune in. Make sure they can get on the stream. Yes, I know, I know. This is really late. I've been out most of the day. I went on down to Leeds to meet one of my ex WoW Radio compadres. A guy by the name of Doc Dead. Pretty awesome dude. It made sense. Usually I don't go out in the middle of the week because obviously I've got a lot of things to do, but he's only in the UK for a couple of days as an American, so it made sense. I wasn't going to miss out on the opportunity to meet the guy. Right. Before I get started, there is something I would like to do. Now it will not be breaking well played, thank you very much. I will show you. So, let's let's find this. This is a pretty good discussion that's going on SC Reddit right now. Uh, just pop it on screen. And there you go. Wow, I have a lot of tabs open. Good lord. I don't think we need this many, do we? Color commentator. Wikipedia entry. You should probably go read that. It's useful. My channel. Yeah, we don't need that. Shoutcraft and Justin TV. There we go. My email. You are not getting to see that. Yeah, so it's this right here. And this is kind of useful, actually. It's a good discussion, I feel. Share about these downvotes. Seems like some people don't really understand what Redicate actually involves doing. I don't agree with his point, or I don't like who it is. Downvote. Yes, quite. Well, whatever the case. I think my I, I think my script's broken, actually, because it claims I've voted myself up 24 times. That would be a little tricky. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. I think I've got an old version of the script. Whatever the case. I had somebody come along and say, let's find it. There we go. I read this entire comment in your shoutcasting voice. I suspect I will be unable to function for the next three days. Okay. So, I was thinking we should actually read the comment in the shoutcasting voice, and then we can post the link with a highlight. It seems reasonable. So, I think I need suitable background music to make this work. Let's see what I can find. Need something like high energy. Not that, no. Mm, not high energy enough. Definitely not the pianos. Or the empty castle. That might work. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit pumping, isn't it? Okay. We shall shout cast the comment. It's a bloody long comment. It should be a good warm up for the voice. <coughs> me, me, me. I'm rather disappointed this article did very little to substantiate his claims, but allow me to try and provide a counterpoint anyway. Idro is not a good caster. He does not have the training to be a good caster. He's too quiet. He is frequently monotone. He stumbles in his speech. He has no flow to speak of. He lacks the ability to express passion and emotion. He is, however, an analyst of exceptional skill and caliber. Easily one of the best in the business. He should be lauded for this. However, the distinction must be made there. This is how sports casting works. 101. I'm not reading out the URLs, that's silly. Idra is a color commentator. He fits all the criteria. He's analytical. He is there to provide background and extensive game knowledge based on experience as a current or ex player. He is there to fill in time when the play by play commentator is not talking and as a knowledgeable resource to back up the play by play commentator, who is more often than not a professional player, coach, ex player, but a professional broadcaster. Of the list of commentators in the IPL, there was one color commentator, pain user, and four play-by-play -play commentators, HD, DJ Wheat, Cat's Pajamas, and myself. This was in itself a problem, and is not the correct setup, something that all the casters have acknowledged publicly and are doing their utmost to resolve, to the point where Apollo may be moving in with me temporarily if we are chosen to cast IPL 2, doing all my assigned matches with in-studio co-commentary. 
Now onto the main point of the article, the idea of telling it like it is. This is fairly ironic in itself, since casters frequently get criticized for doing such shallow things as telling people what's going on. Half the time it seems, oh yeah, groovy background music, that's what I'm talking about, drama right here. Half the time it seems that some more hardcore viewers have an inception mindset. We have to go deeper, demanding almost precognitive casting and metaphysical insight. Lasers may also be involved. It is not the play-by-play -play caster's job to tell you when a game is over. It's the play-by-play -play caster's job to heighten tension, provoke emotion, and increase the viewer's excitement. You cannot do that by calling a game before it ends. The climax of a game should be the GG, regardless of whether or not it's blatantly too late. You call a GG 10 minutes before it happens, even if it's absolutely the right call, then you stop engaging a good portion of your viewers, specifically the majority of the viewer base, the casuals who are there for entertainment. In-depth analysis in sports is generally done post-game, not mid-game. There is definitely space for analysis, plenty of it, but drowning a viewer in 10 minutes of in-depth analysis is how player one is completely and totally fucked up while the game is still going on in the background. That will turn off the casual viewer. I should also point out that it's not dishonest to avoid calling game over before it actually happens. You can, without question, explain that the situation is very bad for player A right now, with a wide variety of colorful synonyms and language. However, let us consider the viewing demographic. Your average Master League player, hell, even High Diamond, is definitely analytical and knowledgeable enough to see when it's over. He does not need to be told that it's over. He will not learn anything from being told that it's over. I refer to the sentence at the end of the article, which states, Don't be afraid to tell us when a game is over, or when players aren't playing like they deserve our attention. Do so and your audience will only gain a better understanding of the game. Hardcore players will not learn anything from this. Casual players, more often than not, don't want to learn anything from this. Different kinds of people watch SC2 for different reasons. SC2 has a substantial viewer base that doesn't even own the game for God's sake. What do you think they tune in for? It certainly isn't to learn how to play better. They don't play at all. No, they tune in to watch one of the most, if not the most exciting esports in the world. And they expect it to be presented as such. It is impossible to get excited about a game that ended 10 minutes ago when you've just had the fact rubbed in your face by the casting team. It is possible if you are a skilled play-by-play -play caster to keep the tension up, particularly when there are more casual, less knowledgeable viewers watching. You do not have to lie to them, but you have to tell them it's done 10 minutes before the GG either. You do not have to do anything of the sort. By all means, have the analyst explain why player A is in such a bad situation and the decisions that led him up to this point. Although I th really think that some of that should be saved for post-game commentary a la sports. But as far as I'm concerned, calling an early GG is a moral casting sin and should be avoided at all costs. Just my two pence, folks. It's a nice opinion piece, but it lacks perspective on what casting actually is as well as being from an obviously niche viewpoint, which while it should be catered to without question, is not the only way to look at things, nor even the majority view. There we go. Problem solved. Now I've broken his mind. Hmm. That is quite exhausting. <laughs> Ooh. Video games, folks. That's what we're here for. So let's get it done. Yeah, I think we can probably upload that. <laughs> I think we will. I think that might go on the YouTube channel. Ah, this is wonderful. Let's get started, shall we? Let's play some video games. So I'm mean, nice and chilled out today, considering that I'm pretty tired, and it's already, in fact, past midnight. Been unfortunate. There we go. First matchup today will be a turn versus Zerg. Go ahead. And here we go. Right. If we decide to use tanks this time around, let's try and do it properly. I remember the last TBZ that ended up with tanks. Oh my. That was not good. Not under any circumstances. I will check the stream information after this match to see if there's anything wrong with the stream. Currently on busy mode, so you can't send me any messages, so don't even bother. And the chat is also very distracting, which is why I'm deliberately avoiding doing that. Just 
everything should be just fine. Nice and chilled out, relaxed. A bit late on the supply depot, good lord. Uh, what are you doing? You're taking your bloody time? Get back to work! Ah, lazy, bloody, unionized SCBs. Lollygaggers. Ah, damn slackers. Get back to work. What's going on? Now, uh, we're gonna go refinery first. We'll try and get Banshee out. And of course, it's like, oh my god, it's going Banshee, then I'll switch to Siege Tank. I could have two there. I could have started a barracks earlier. That's a little silly. Oh well, I guess we know that now. I'll think we can do about it for the time being. Pop two in there for the time being. I want to make sure that I've got enough income actually coming in from the minerals. Get another one out. There, we've got three. Okay. Makes sense. There we go. Switchy, switchy, switchy. Let's get that wall off before he gets in. Sure, we're doing well enough. And then we need to go scout, find out what he's doing. What is he up to, you sneaky little bugger? Right, so we can't spawn across there, I don't think. If I remember correctly, this is the way the Shakuras currently works. So, straight after this one, we will go through to Orbital Command. We're not going to go factory just yet, because that's kind of silly. Need to make sure the economy's in a good state. What's going on? Okay, that's that complete. No problem whatsoever. Now we we'll get that factory out. Yeah, you can nibble on that all you damn well please. It isn't going to help you. if he realizes what I'm up to. We'll find out. Scout is on its way to discover whether or not that is the case. Upgrade. Down we go. Good for supply for the time being. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Bad news. Grab second refinery. Don't want to throw too many into it just yet. What do we see? What's that? Spawning pool light. Okay, Yo. cool. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see if we can get out of range of that creep. Rain can drive that away nice and easy. Fine there. We're going to open with a Hellion. I'm going to keep this hidden down here, see if there's anything I can really do with it. You never know. And after that one, going to a Starport. Straight into a Hellion. There we go. Make sure that our supply is okay. Just got one in there for the moment. That's fine. I don't want to sacrifice my mineral count too much. It's a little dicey. Let's get another one out. Then I'll pop another one in. Got one spare. Oh, he's been spotted, shame. Oh well. Never mind, it was gonna happen. Straight in the tech lab after that. There we go. Let's go do some damage. So a little bit of initial harassment. Hopefully try and make him believe that I'm actually just going early Hellion. When in fact I'm going Banshee. Okay, it's not quite ready for the swap yet, but it's pretty close. And I believe we have two spare SCVs doing nothing useful, so let's deal with that. Okay, add-ons complete. Swap over. No, that's the Bloody LK, you fool. Can I get past that and gain scouting information? That would be wonderful. Get the Banshee started. Get the cloak going. Mm, didn't really learn anything from that, did I? That's kind of annoying. It's my own fault, admittedly. But. Land that down there, keep the Marines coming out. I haven't seen any roaches yet, but I want to make sure. Roaches could be a problem here. For obvious reasons, they can crack through nice and easy. Hasn't gotten an overlord round yet. I just want to make sure that he doesn't do anything of the sort, because if he's going to come over, he's going to sort of come from this direction. Isn't he? Keep this going. What's he got? Nothing of note, at least for the moment. That's fine. We'll go for the Banshees. Oh, I've got supply blocked. Additional supply depots required. That's really stupid of me. Really should have tried to keep on top of that. Is under attack. I don't want to send a single Banshee over yet, so this has delayed this significantly. That's a stupid error on my part. Once again, supply blocks will be the death of me. Quite literally. Okay, at least we can get that going again. Get these dudes back to mining. Expansion is on the way. Get the Hellions out. And then we'll go over there and find out what he's up to. Yeah. Couple more of them. Keep the 
Banshee's over there. We'll do another scan as well. I should really scan that natural, find out what he's got. Nothing but that queen. Okay, cool. I'm fine with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Another Banshee. We do have plenty of those going on right there. Okay, double Banshee on the way. Let's go and poke. Hopefully do some good damage. We should have Cloak, but we do. Double Banshee after that. Totally fine. We should really be getting out more Hellions and things like that, and also getting ready for tanks. Okay, fine there. Right, he may have seen that. Nicely positioned Overlord. Engineering bay down. Well, I guess we're about to find out whether or not he's ready for this. I did keep scanning. He didn't seem to be ready, certainly. Definitely about to find out, though. Let's keep the units coming out. Base is under attack. Whoa, what? Oh, Banelings? Where the hell did they come from? Okay. Right, well, this is not the worst thing in the world. Let's get in there and do damage. Wow, he's already got Spore Crawler up. Right. Yeah, because I was too busy being distracted by that nonsense. Okay. Another one out there. Make sure these are doing something useful. Minor damage, nothing too bad. Redeploy. Try not to lose all of my stuff. Another queen. Kill it. No problem. Take the evolution chamber down. Also need to do something about that. Units out. Get units out. Keep getting units out. There's actually no need to be cloaked, is there? Doesn't have anything you can do with it. Skull spawning cool. Would also be nice to get that tech lab back up. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Okay, so he's got the Overseer. The question is, what has he got to do about it? Can we kill the Lair before he brings up anything pleasant? The one way to find out, isn't it? Okay. Start to get the tanks out. Get the Marines rolling. Spore Crawler redeploying. Lots of Spore Crawlers redeploying. Making use of that uh, new, nice and delicious redeploy type. Good positioning there, actually, on the Spore Crawlers as well. This is going to be problematic. I want to kill this layer. I really want to kill this layer. Kill the layer. Kill the layer. Come on. There we go. Right, layer's down. Right. Okay, that's the new group one. He's redeployed his Spore Crawler, so let's go for the front line. Ah, that's lousy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get over there. What's he doing? Right, well, that's that. Massacred. Okay, get into that line and do as much damage as we can. Time to leave. Okay. Don't have Siege Tech yet, working on it. Still need to, I've got to spend some of this money for God's sake. Okay. Research complete. Right, we have Siege Tech. So we can go redeploy there without too much fear of anything really going wrong. That's number five, keep this going out. It went level one, S just spend money for God's sake. That's the most important thing I can really do right now. Get Raven out. Okay, don't need to be so concerned with the wall off right now. Ah, I'm losing control of my macro here. This is pretty awful. Something needs to be done about that. I have a mule sitting around doing nothing. Get it dealt with. I really need to be pushing, don't I? Do I have what I need to push? I think I do. Off you go. See what we can do there. Get this sorted out in the meantime. More barracks up, tech lab, reactor, tech lab. Something useful. Keep the siege tanks going. Keep the banshees and the ravens out. Okay, good. We might just sink most of that gas. Kind of important. 
Whoa, muters. Whoa, muters. That's going to be problematic because I don't think I've got enough dudes to deal with that. Lost the Banshee for no reason. Okay, that really sucks. I should have expected to do that. Should have seen it coming. Let's try and get some missile turrets up around here. Also, around here. Yeah, whatever. A lot of potential for damage. I have plenty of cash. Mutus doing hit and run attacks. Very sensible. Let's see if we can redeploy. Come on, barracks, barracks, barracks. Get them all bound. Build something, for God's sake. Upgrade complete. Muters, that's to be expected. Back them off. Don't really quite have enough of these damn units up. Get even just some Vikings out just to try and deter them a little bit. Would be great. Let's do as much damage as we can in here. Kill off his economy. I've got plenty of cash, he doesn't. That's the main thing. I can go mine here, which is nicely covered. He can't. Also can be more. Now you've managed to get a missile turret up. Ah, bollocks is going to take them all out, isn't he? Okay, well, let's just try and get some more out here. Where where did I bind that to? There we go. Okay, so that's that dealt with. Redeploy that. Get the contain going. He doesn't have a huge number of mutalisks, so... It's not the worst thing in the world, definitely. Redeploy right there. Keep getting those marines out. Should have expanded bloody ages ago. Oh, Vikings on the way. Okay, I need to start moving out these marines, so I've at least got a ground force. Off you go. Start creeping these forward a little bit. Let's use the Viking, have a look around. Also, let's go and see if he's expanded anywhere else. That would be good. I have six spare SCBs doing nothing useful. Let's go and deal with that, shall we? Our SCBs are under attack. Ah, that's kind of annoying. I almost had that as well. Let's see if I managed to take the Raven out. That's okay. Okay, let's redeploy. Plenty of Marines out. Go on, build units. This is the key to winning. Build stuff. Insufficient Vespine gas. Yes, the gas is a problem. Let's get the tanks up in his main. Here's something I have enough fire bar. Yeah, looks like I might. There we go. This has been a really scrappy game up until this point. Well, he definitely has nothing over there. Find out where the rest of his guys are. Nothing there. Fire the tanks. GG. Really, really scrappy game. Very scrappy. On my part. Let my macro slip all the time. Ah. Could have done a lot better there. I was actually not happy with myself at all. Didn't stay on top of my spending. Lost control of my macro completely. Sure, I had the win. Absolutely, but still, it's not acceptable. Got to be better than that.
Okay, let's find ourselves something else. Here we go. This is going to be a Terran versus Protoss. See what that does. Probably should be reasonable. Bear in mind that all ad revenue from this stream goes towards funding tournaments so that we can get the great players actually paid and more events that you can hopefully enjoy. I'm not taking any income from this stream. Just FYI. Obviously, ad blocker is a personal decision, but you've got to bear in mind that you are basically spending someone else's money there. I mean, this is something that Justin TV provides, and obviously it costs them money to host it. And you're also taking away from money that could be paid to pro players through these tournaments, so just something to consider. Obviously, the decision is yours. That said, by the way, I was reading on Reddit earlier that... Some people were very, very annoyed by the actual sound disparity between the stream and the ads. I totally agree. So I'm going to be talking to guys over at Justin TV. I know some of the higher ups. And I'm going to see what I can do about that. See if I can maybe get them to put in some systems that will make that better so that you won't get deafened whenever an ad goes on. There's something wrong with my wall off. That looks really weird, doesn't it? What's wrong with... I don't know. Whatever. Well, we'll find out, I suppose. Okay, it's Protoss, so we will open with Marine, Mar well, Marine Marauder Stim Concussive Shell Timing Push, which has worked so well up to this point. It works even better now that the warp gate timing is down, so it's fairly powerful. I like it quite a lot. We will also keep an eye out for people that decide to be very, very sneaky. Yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. I actually don't need to wall off here, so I'm not going to do anything of the sort. Oh, will you quit it? What's going on? You have to pull someone off the line to deal with that. I refuse to be tilted by this. Go away! Huh? I'm going. Okay, you go elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. We got the marine out, no go problem ahead. at all. And then we get that Best fixed. Ready. Okay. Good, good, good. Once the marine's out, I can kill that probe without a problem. Get him back to mining. If he ends up going and sniping off that one injured SCV, that's exactly what he's going for, isn't it? I'm going to have him dive into the gas so that he can't do that. There we go. Tech lab needs to go down. He's actually delayed me quite nicely there because I've been screwing around doing nothing of worth. Smart guy. The harassment is very effective. It's something you should consider as Protoss. Even though I hate you and every fiber of your being for actually doing it, I'm also really light on the scout, I know, so I was too busy dealing with his. Off you go. Go find him. Okay. I'm going to go straight into Stim after that. Admittedly, it's going to be fairly light. I'm not a fan of that at all, but at least we can go straight into a Marauder. Always nice. Into the banks. Okay, we're fine for that. No problems. Go straight into a tech lab on there to start getting the concussive shell. 